Hi, and welcome to get started with writing tools. I'm Liu Dongyuan. I work on text input and internationalization. Writing tools is a new suite of features that's available in text fields across all kinds of apps. It helps users polish any text they are working on. In this session, I'm going to introduce writing tools, then talk about how writing tools interacts with native text views, how to control writing tools behavior to better suit your app, how to protect ranges of text such as quotes and code blocks, and finally, how to support writing tools for your custom text views. Now, let's get started with writing tools. Writing tools helps users proofread, rewrite, or transform text in text views in iOS, iPadOS, and macOS. Suggestions appear right in line, so it's easy to review and integrate changes quickly and seamlessly. In any native text views, writing tools appears on top of the keyboard when you select a piece of text. It also appears in the color bar next to cut, copy, and paste. On macOS, Writing Tools is available in the context menu and the edit menu. When you hover over selected text in native text views, it shows up as an affordance to open the Writing Tools panel. This is an easy way to invoke Writing Tools right from the text. Let's take a closer look at what Writing Tools can do. It can proofread your text and show you mistakes like misspellings and grammar errors. You can review the writing tools suggestions one by one. Writing tools can rewrite your text or make the text more friendly, professional, and concise. Writing tools can summarize your text, make text into key points, and even convert the text into lists or tables. Writing tools also works with non editable text. The results will be shown in the panel, and the user can copy or share the results. Now let me show you some of it in action. Let's say we are throwing a release party for writing tools, and there's a rough invitation I wrote. Before sending, I like to make sure there are no mistakes. I can invoke writing tools in the color bar and select proofread. Wow! And once it's done, you can see all the suggestions right in line. I can tap to review individual changes it all looks good to me, and I would have done to accept the changes. I also want to send a short message to my friends about the party. I can use writing tools to summarize the text to make it shorter. I can copy or share the summary. Lastly, I want to prepare for the release party, and I ask some friends to bring some items. I want to make it a nice table. I'll select the text, invoke writing tools, and select Table. And boom! Notice that all the bold text and the link are still there. Awesome, isn't it? As you can see, Writing Tools is a powerful tool that brings more functionality to your text views. Writing Tools automatically appears when your app is running in a supported environment. Next up, let's talk about how Writing Tools works with text views and how to get writing tools in your app. The good news is, if you are using a UI text view, a next text view, or WK web view, it just works. Keep in mind that UI text view or a next text view has to use TextKit 2 to support the full writing tools experience. If you are using TextKit 1, you'll get a limited experience that just shows rewritten results in a panel. For more information on TextKit 2, check out the linked sessions. So, what happens under the hood when you invoke writing tools? First, we may expand user selection to full sentences to get better results from the tools. We may also use more text surrounding the selection to make sure the model is aware of the context of the text. Secondly, Writing tools fully support rich text by using attributed strings. The model preserves attributes like styles, links, and attachments, as long as the relevant text is still in the rewritten text. Lastly, for list and table transformations, if the text view supports lists and tables, we'll send a next text list and a next text table to the text storage. 
you can control if your text view wants to handle tables by using writing tools allow input options. We'll get to that later. As you've seen in the demo, when the model is busy processing the text, we show animations when the writing tool session is active. During the session, your app may want to pause syncing or avoid accidental editing. We've introduced new text view delegate methods for writing tools. In text view writing tools view begin, you can prepare your app states for writing tools. For example, you may want to pause syncing or anything that can directly manipulate the text storage. In text view writing tools did end, you can restore your app states like resume syncing. We also provide a new is writing tools active property on UI text view. When doing text operations, you may want to be aware if writing tools is also interacting with the text view. The new delegate methods and property are available for both UI text view and NS text view. When the text is long, the rewritten text may be delivered to the text view in separate chunks. We apply animations to the text being processed to indicate the model is working. After the model finishes processing, user may tap the original button to switch between original and rewritten text. For proofreading, the suggested changes are applied to the text view automatically. User can review and reject individual suggestions. You may wonder what's happening to your underlying text storage during writing tools operations. Well, they all actually alter your text storage, which means you should not persist text storage when writing tools is active. To allow the user to revert changes after the fact, writing tools changes are also pushed to the undo stack. You may want to customize writing tools behavior to better suit your app. We have some new text input traits API for you. By default, the system offers writing tools with an inline experience whenever possible, and you don't need to do anything. If it doesn't fit your app, you can set the writing tools behavior to limited for a panel experience, or none to opt out of writing tools completely for a text view. You can also use writing tools allow input options to specify if your text view supports rich text or tables. If you don't set it, we assume your text view can render plain text and rich text, but not tables. If your text view only accepts plain text, or if it can handle tables, you can specify the options explicitly. Lastly, we have similar APIs for WK WebView. You can specify the same enum via WK WebView configuration. Keep in mind that the default behavior for WK WebViews is limited. If you want the complete behavior, you'll need to set that explicitly. You can check or observe the is writing tools active property to know if a writing tools session is active. Now, let's talk about how to provide ranges for writing tools to ignore. Let's say you are implementing a note-taking app that can mark certain ranges as code blocks, or you have a mail app that can have quoted contents. You may not want writing tools to rewrite those ranges. We've got you covered. We've added a new delegate method in both UI text view delegate and a next text view delegate. Simply return the ranges you want to ignore, and writing tools will not propose changes within the ranges. For WK WebView, text like block quote and pre will be ignored by writing tools automatically. Lastly, what if your app has a custom text view other than UI text view or a nice text view? The good news is it's easy to get a basic experience for free. The rewritten text will be shown in the panel, and the user can copy, share, or apply the text into the text view. On iOS and iPadOS, as long as your custom text view adopts UI text interaction, you'll get writing tools in the color bar or the context menu for free. If you can't use UI text interaction, you can also adopt UI text selection display interaction with the UI edit menu interaction. Under the hood, writing tools relies on the UI text input protocol to read and write the text and to anchor the popover. For more about text interactions, check out some amazing previous WWDC talks. For text views that don't use text interactions, We've added a new optional property, is editable, 
in UI text input protocol. Adopt that to indicate if your text view supports editing. On the Mac, we'll show running tools automatically in the context menu and the edit menu for custom text views. Make sure your text view adopts NS Services menu requester, which is a protocol to allow the system to read contents from the view and to write contents back to the view. Overwrite valid requester for send type, return type in NS Responder. Then, as long as a context menu is added to the view, the running tools menu item will be there for free. Doing these can also make your app available to all kinds of services and shortcuts. For that, check out what's new in AppKit in WWDC 21. Let me show you all of that in code. I have a simple view here with some text and a menu that provides a copy functionality. To get writing tools, you just need to overwrite valid requester for send type, return type, and implement at least the write selection method in NS Services menu requester. If your view is an editable text view, implement the read selection method as well so that writing tools can send the rewritten text back to the text view. In the valid requester method, you can check send type and determine if your text view wants to handle rich text. As long as all these are done, you'll get both writing tools and services in the context menu. That wraps up the session. What's next? Try out writing tools with your app. In most cases, you don't need to do anything. It just works. Adopt the new delegate methods to control your app states during a writing tools session. If your app has special needs or capabilities, check out writing tools behavior and allow input options. If you have a custom text view, you can start providing writing tools features with just a few steps. And lastly, enjoy writing. Thanks for watching.